miles down the road from the Derek Chauvin trial, people are taking to the streets after the fatal shooting of an unarmed man. Police now saying the officer accidentally pulled out her gun instead of her taser. Law and Crimes Kim Johnson is in Minneapolis and explains how the Dante Wright and George Floyd cases have a connection. Kim. Angelica, family members of George Floyd have been showing up here every day in the trial of the former police officer accused of killing him. Uh, but on this day, they showed up for a different purpose, to provide comfort for another grieving family who's lost their loved one at the hands of police. Now, the Floyd family joined Dante Wright's family in a press conference outside the Hennepin County Courthouse. Wright was shot and killed by police during a traffic stop on Sunday. His mom described the last time she talked to and saw her son. Dante put the phone down. I heard some scruffling. He got out of the car and I could hear the police officers um, and scruffling with him. Then the, I heard the police officer asked them to hang up the phone. They hung up the phone. Three or four seconds went by. I tried calling and back to back to back. I didn't know what was going on. And I never imagined this is what was going to happen. I just thought maybe he was being arrested. And then when I called back, the girl that he had in the car answered the phone and it was a, on a FaceTime. And she said, she was crying and screaming and she said that they shot him. And then she pointed the phone towards the driver's seat and my son was laying there unresponsive. My love. That was the last time that I seen my son. That's the last time I heard from my son and I have had no explanation since then. Brooklyn Center Police Officer Kim Potter allegedly thought that she was using her taser and not a handgun when she shot right. She has resigned along with the city's police chief. The state's Bureau of Criminal Apprehension is the investigation. Now, civil rights attorney Ben Crump is in Minneapolis and is representing the Wright family. He said that he never thought less than a year after George Floyd died at the hands of police, he would be here again representing another family uh, and, and calling for justice for another black man who died in police custody. Angelica. All right, Kim, and one of the witnesses that the state called in Derek Chauvin's trial also has a connection to Dante Wright. Tell us about that. Yeah, you may remember Courtney Ross. She was George Floyd's girlfriend who gave very emotional testimony about who George Floyd was as a person. Well, she was here during that press conference consoling Dante Wright's mother. Uh, apparently, she had taught Dante Wright at in high school, at Edison High School, she came up to his mom, Katie Wright, and said, uh, you know, every day I saw Dante in class, he always had a smile on his face. Very emotional interaction between those two. And really, what a small world it is that these two cases collide in this manner. Absolutely. Kim, thanks. Another story we'll be following there. When we come back, though, we'll go back into the courtroom for the Derek Chauvin trial. Our exclusive legal analysis that you don't want to miss is coming up.